Hey, what's up? In this series, we're gonna take a look at Xiaomi's Mi Home app. There's a lot to this app, so I'll try to do my best to compress and structure it, and hopefully you'll find some useful tips in here, so uh, let's go. With the Mi Home app, you can manage and control all of your Xiaomi Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled devices, as well as easily set up automation rules. So the first time opening the app, you'll need to log in using a Xiaomi account or register for an account. After logging in, the app basically consists out of four tabs. Devices, where you can add and control your devices, the store, a news blog, and your profile. The devices tab is where all the action is, and that's the home screen of the app. And this screen gives you quick access to all of your devices. Here we can also install new Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled devices from the Xiaomi ecosystem. By tapping on the plus symbol in the top right corner, you can add a new device. There's a couple of visualization and display options that we can find by tapping on the uh, hamburger icon in the top left corner. The list view shows your devices in a list with a on off toggle next to them. And if we tap on a device, we're taken to the devices page. Setting this list to grid mode shows tiles with uh, large icons for your devices. Tapping on the icon turns these devices on or off quickly. In this grid view, you can go to each of the devices pages by tapping on the device's name. Holding an icon allows you to drag them around to reorganize your list. As you can see, I've got quite some devices in my list, which can make it a bit harder to manage them. So I can uh, categorize these devices in groups or locations as they're called. This allows me to group together devices based on a room. Now I can just look at a list with my devices in the living room or in the hall or in the bedroom. Also, if you happen to have multiple routers, you could also select a few devices grouped for each router. It's also possible to list all of your devices. Each device has its own interface layout depending on what that device does. In the next videos, we're gonna look at how to add new devices, the actual device pages, how to organize them into groups, and how to set up automation. This playlist will eventually cover all of the Mi Home app, and I will uh, try to update these videos if any big changes come into the app as well. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see y'all soon.